There's one. There's two. There's our three. Broke the ice. Broke the ice. I gotta call in a dog. That, that kind isn't good, dog. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like it. Nice work, dude. Fine, bitch. I didn't know you were hanging out. Okay. What is nice that? Christmas. What's with the... It's a... It's a... I don't know. What is it? The Carol of the Bells? Uh, let's uh run through this real quick because uh, we got a couple other spots to hit up. Man, this is a pretty you must be feeding over there, huh? Huh? Yeah. All that dust and shit. Yeah. Anyway. Your uncle. Hopefully we can hear it good. Uncle Rico. Sure. Anyway, uh so we have a wind, northeast or a northeast east wind, and this is one of those spots where we have a pretty, like always, pretty high success rate. But uh we walked about two miles in here. Backwards. Over rocks. Broke, one, one boot on. Tearing our ACLs and shit. Got a bad ankle like John now. Frostbite. Frostbite. Hematobes on our left ankles. John's got sore p Stress fractures. Sand in the badge. John's <laughs> making pearls. <laughs> what? John's making pearls. <laughs> that's, that's a good one, dude. Not All just right. regular pearls, black pearls. Anyway, yeah, we go into black. Those are nasty. Those are like anyway. That's fucking okay. Pirates right. of the Caribbean shit. We walk in here and uh, I pop over this ridge line <coughs> and see a few bull elk. And the main concern, obviously, is not to spook them, not make waves, not alert anything in the Just area. Just because they'll wreck our set so fast. Just like deer, we've been having a hell of a time this year with deer, jumping deer, walking in on deer, and they just scatter, spook and. <laughs> anyway, we get in. They stay bedded. We make a quick set, and within. I didn't even look. It God, was you seen him with three um, minutes, maybe? Uh, Faster? Pr probably close. Yeah. Had to be close. Yeah. Instantly, pretty much. Popped right over, and it was uh, it was that coyote, dude. Yep. Bit, I didn't. Huge male. As far as we know, it was that coyote. I think it was the other coyote. The one that left? Yeah. So here's, what, here's one popped, one came over, and... The yeah you know you're right dude yeah. the first one that that I that I saw went down in a draw and as soon as he disappeared in a draw it's gonna be hard to see hopefully I'm recording it instantaneously another one pops up 75 yards closer yeah or more with within a split second yeah. so yeah. automatically we can assume yeah. that there was two of them there right yeah. now yeah. and this one popped up I did a little change on the call sequence and he started bouncing up checking out looking for the call he checked up and I'm like. Dude, he had his peg. Keith shoot him. And and I originally thought maybe if we shot the farther one, if John shot the farther one, we might. But as big as that male is, I don't know if he'd ever came back. It's hard to tell, yeah. too. The, yeah. the, 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 there was, we're, we're assuming there was three here. And the 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 first one that Keith was talking about was further to the south. And, and I could see him out of my peripheral, and he was leaving. He was literally turning and going away. Right. And that's kind of when I'm like, dude, yeah. Keith, just shoot this one. Yeah. Cause that other one's a little bit too far away. We got better footage of this one. Yeah. And, and I was under the basic assumption that this, there was another yeah. coyote yep. under the draw somewhere. There was still, yeah. And we could change the call up and have another one commit somehow. So Keith just locked the shit out of this one. And we're sitting there and I'm just like, dude, there's, you're always like, there's and gotta I was be something. Watching even further to the north thinking, Something it was, to th it was more towards those elk, you know, gonna pop up on the hill. Well, because the, they kept looking back, right? When and they this were one, coming and in, this one, yeah, was looking back the whole time. So you can once again think that assume there's another coyote back there, but we're sitting there. It's no more than probably a solid minute, and I just do a little scan around and look right down at the call, and instantly you'll hear me on the camera. What the <laughs> f John? What the f are you doing? Because there's a coyote v beeline and straight, straight, at, the straight call. at the call. And I hit record and I'm hoping I got that coyote just, just rampage in that call. But to John's credit, Keith and I were pounding the <laughs> out of him. If you prone out where John was, you couldn't see And John see was it. on the downwind side is why he was there. It was, it was, I mean, we do it every set. The so. last time John actually killed one from that downwind side, just because yeah. it's, it's, it's an insurance policy, it's cover, insurance policy, cover your back. Well, they should circle. They, John's sitting over there because they, he hasn't learned to get in the pocket of a camera guy. No, So he knows no. when to shoot. You know what I've learned is I've 
fucking follow you in, and I go wherever <laughs> Keith doesn't. Oh, okay. You sit on one side, I sit on the other. Anyway, but this yeah, coyote it's, comes it's... blazing in. This little guy comes terrorizing in just dumber than a box of rocks. That's a typical pup right there. Yeah. Yeah. And he, we had him every which way. I could have got so much footage of him, but he was straight below us, down the he bottom was of the draw. Both of us. I couldn't have shot him either. I could see him. I mean, he wasn't him. on film. I could see him the whole time, and you didn't have him on film, and I couldn't shoot through the grass. So. And I could we see him. We just sat there and watched him. Perfect with my with visual. Yeah. And I'm just telling Keith, no, 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 just yeah. let him go. Yeah. He walked back, and what he ended up doing was I coaxed him back to the call a little bit yep. and he got downwind of the first one that Keith shot and I'm like dude he smells that other coyote and sure as shit went right he to it gets right up there and when I can see both of them on the same screen I told Keith I'm like just walk his ass up we should have ranged it when he picked him up they weren't 10 yards apart no not even you, no. well you can no, see him you can see him on the same screen yeah. as all the way zoomed in yeah the only thing that divides them is that pole yep the pole is the divider so that's what happened awesome set yeah. we're just act unfortunately just getting started and we know there's a lot of guys that that uh get butt hurt at the little chat session that we have at the end don't watch it don't yeah. watch it that's the beauty of it fast forward that shit skip it end it we got a uh, we got deer seasons done we had a pretty real successful elk season and with all that going on it just puts a, a crimp a delay a cease in being able to hunt predators so we're just getting started right now we're just starting to roll get into the night game and we're gonna hammer Let's go kill some more. I should have done that harder. Are we taking these? Yeah, we might as well. <laughs> yeah.